Okay, so let's evaluate some infinite limits. And the way we usually start this type of question is that we're going to have to multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by whatever the highest um, x to an exponent is down at the bottom. So in this case, we're just going to go next here and x there. If this was x squared, we would have 1 over x squared, 1 over x squared. If this was x cubed, we would have 1 over x cubed, over 1 over x cubed, and so on. So right here, we have lim as x approaches infinity of 2 times 1 over x, which is just 2 over x, all over. Now we have to basically distribute this. 1, times, uh, one over x times x is just 1. 3 times 1 over x is 3 over x. Great. Okay, so now we can basically split up uh, this whole expression into lim as x approaches infinity 2 over x all over lim as x approaches infinity of 1 plus lim as x <laughs> approaches infinity of 3 over x. Okay. That was a lot of work. Um, so this top expression here, lim as x approaches infinity of 2 over x, is actually going to give us 0 right away. And why? Because we know one thing. That the lim, that the lim as x approaches infinity, or 1 over x, is equal to 0. This is a fact. We know this. And if we have any... Um, any constant here as opposed to, to 1, if we have 20, if we have 5,000, it won't matter because basically we could take it out of the limit and it would still be just 0. So down at the bottom here though, uh, so that the top is 0, down at the bottom we have lim as x approaches infinity of 1, which is just 1, plus the limit as x approaches zero, uh, infinity with 3 over x, which is also 0. So 0 over 1, 0, and that's it. Oops, that was too bad. Um, that's it. Final answer. For similar videos, you can go down here. Thanks.